So what is a critical point? A place where f prime of x is equal to zero or f prime of x does not exist. And, and in, what is an inflection point? It's a place where the concavity changes. And if the concavity changes, that means that f double prime of x has changed signs. Either f double prime of x has changed from positive to negative, or f double prime of x has changed from negative to positive. Look at these for just a moment. Will you stop me when I get to a critical point? Okay. Will you stop me when I get to the next critical point? Will you stop me when I get to the next critical point? So those are the critical points. Each of these critical points, it turns out, is a place where f prime of x is equal to zero in this instance. I'm going to use yellow for inflection point. Will you stop me when I get to an inflection point? No, this is not an inflection point. It's con the curve is concave down before this point, and after you cross this point, it's still concave down. So there's no inflection points here. The curve is concave down, concave down, concave down, concave down, concave down. Remember, concave down looks like part of a frown. And so just because I'm in the middle of the frown, I'm still in the frown. What we're looking for is where the frown changes to looking like a smile. Right here. This is an inflection point because right before this point, this curve is concave down. And right after this point, this curve is concave up. Where, so stop me when I get to the next inflection point. So there are two inflection points in this curve and three critical points. Let's do the same thing for this next curve to the right, which is kind of fun. So if you would, stop me when I get to a critical point here. All right. And stop me when I get to a critical point right here. Both of those are critical points where f prime of x is equal to 0 in this instance. So this curve has two critical points and one inflection point. Critical points here are in orange, inflection points here are in yellow. Now I claim, and I want y'all to try this, please try this and tell me if you think I'm crazy and you're allowed to think that. I feel like if you trace the curve and I mean, actually put your pencil on the paper and trace the curve and kind of keep your wrist a little bit off the table. You can actually feel where the inflection point is. Try tracing this slowly. And then see if you can feel that moment in your wrist. It's like your wrist wants to break. Like your wrist is stopping itself and you have to force it through. Look what's happening here. Right here, I'm pulling my pencil. And then when I get to the inflection point, suddenly I'm having to push it. I think if you do this enough, you'll get to a place where you can feel it. In terms of a roller coaster, the critical points. OK, let's look at this last one and see which we can find the critical points and inflection points. So I'm going to do, again, the orange critical points first. Please stop me when I get to a critical point. And please stop me when I get to another one. If you would please stop me when I get to an inflection point. So here we have again two critical points and one inflection point. They're not too hard to see visually. 